Hey guys, Gimme Go Gamer here, bringing you the final episode of the Trick Magic online competition. So, I I was gonna end things off with the last episode, but I decided I I had a lot of fun. I, I just this is right back from that second episode, actually that third episode, and I thought I'd uh, bring you guys some more battle videos. So. Um, this this tournament's been really interesting. Again, if you guys haven't seen my other videos, it's all ghost types for this competition, and I, it's been really really interesting. We I had no idea what the meta game was going to be like. Um, I had a couple ideas, and so I brought what I thought was going to be the best Pokemon for this this competition, and things could, took kind of a big turn with uh, Basket Legion. I was talking about this in my last video. The Basket Legion with the Rain Spore has been super super strong. Uh, my team doesn't handle it the greatest, and so I lost to that quite a few times, like the first day I played. But I think against this team, this is a pretty standard team too. We see a lot of fast Pokemon. I think we'll do fine here. Um, Hisu and Zorark's going to be difficult to play around, um, and I think we might leave with our own Hisu and Zorark just to kind of deal with that. We see some fast Pokemon. Annihilate has also been kind of a common lead with the Stealth Rocks, and so it makes me hesitant to use Sableye here since we have that Focus Sash. I think that our own Dragapult could be very, very good against theirs because um, we're scarfed to be able to outspeed other Dragapult. Um, Chandelure I'm not too worried about here. Sarah Ledge isn't too big of a threat, but Sarah Ledge is going to have that priority, which is going to make things a little bit difficult for some of my Pokemon to handle. I think what I actually want to do... I'm going to lead Sableye. Um, I'm going to lead Sableye, and if they lead Annihilate, I can taunt them for those Stealth Rocks. And I think I'm going to bring Zoroark and Dragapult as my other options here. Um, Zoroark's gonna, really kind of nice as it's going to bait out some some of those Pokemon. Um, going for those Ghost Sight moves, those Shadow Sneaks and Shadow Balls, um, the Fluttermane and Chandelure and whatnot. So I think we have a decent matchup against this team here. I think we'll do I think we'll do all right. I'm interested to see what their lead's going to be. Um, and having that Hisu and Zoroark's definitely going to make things more challenging. Now we see Chandelure as their first Pokemon. It definitely makes me think it's going to be Zoroark. I think they're trying to bait us out here. I am just going to go for Protect and just wait to see what they use. Um, they might just go for a Shadow Ball. Um, they might go for a Flamethrower as well. Going for that trick there. So trying to lock us in to a move. We're not going to fall for that. And we're going to go Taunt here so that they cannot use Trick on us. They are locked into that trick now. Which is very, very good for us if they're a choice item. Awesome. That music is that a little is it too loud? Maybe I'll turn it down just a tad. It is so hard to mix audio. I'm still I'm still learning um, on how to do that. I don't have the best like monitoring um, software right now um, and hardware to, to kind of handle that. So I'm doing my best. And so that we we tricked them there. They're useless. They're gonna have to switch. I'm going to throw down a Confuse Ray. Okay, so we see the Fluttermane come in. No booster energy. No booster energy. It could be Choice Specs. It could be another item. Kind of curious to see what it's going to use here. Um, We could go Terra Poison and... We could go Terra Poison and go for a Metal Burst, but I think I'm just going to protect for this first turn here, just kind of see what they go for, see if they switch or not. But that way, that way, if they don't switch out of the, the, the Confuse Ray, that gives us the option to at least be able to survive a hit if that Confusion doesn't hurt them. So they are going to stay in here. Awesome, and they're going to hit themselves in Confusion. Now, Focus Ash is another item that sometimes you'll see on Fluttermane, so being able to break through that's going to be really good as well. That, that is their plan. I think what I want to do is I'm going to go Terra Poison and Metal Burst here, try to catch them off guard. In the last in the last video that I did, we went up against a Fluttermane, but it was a more defensive Fluttermane, and we were actually able to catch them on going Terra Poison and Metal Bursting. But I think they were not like fully offensive invested, and I think that this Fluttermane, if it has a little bit more damage on it, or if it's Choice Scarf, we're going to actually be able to find the KO here. And they actually hit themselves in Confusion again, so they are going to see the Metal Burst. It's going to be a little bit more tricky, um, and we did waste their Terra here. So then that was the safest option. I think I'm just going to go for another Protect here. 
They might be Troy Scarf, and if they stay in, that's going to indicate to me that they're not. They're going to go for a different move. They are staying in here. Knockoff. Okay. Interesting. So they are actually Zoroark. They are actually Zoroark. I think then what I'm going to do... Can go for another metal burst. Why not? Yeah, that's not going to do much to us at all here. Get some metal burst damage on him. Beautiful. I'm just going to go for another protect here. I couldn't quite remember if they were still confused or not. I wasn't paying full attention, so... I almost think they're not confused anymore, but they might be. Finally, okay, yep, yeah, so that was the right move here. Going for that Hyper Voice now, just going for a little bit of damage. It's interesting. I know I know Hisui and Zoroark's special attack is a, a little bit higher than its physical attack, but I actually think that in this tournament, the physical attack in Zoroark's going to be much better. It is mixed because it has that knockoff, but I think it's definitely special invested. So, I'm just going to go for another Confuse Ray. I don't really think that there's much you can do against us here. Hopefully we'll find another turn of Confusion. We are already pretty lucky with it. Um, when we used Confusion during the last match, we didn't get any turns of Confusion. So um, it was actually nice that we got some good damage off um, on him with that. So See that Hyper Voice connecting there? That's going to do some decent damage. I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and switch out the save life for now. Since we're not going to be able to take anything anyway. Make them think that we're Dragapult. Hopefully they go for another Hyper Voice here. Awesome. So, they still think that we're going to be Dragapult. I am going to... I got a couple options here. If I want to be greedy, I could go for a Sword Stance and then kind of play from there. Um, he might speed tie us and be able to land a knockoff, but we have the Cobra Berry and I think they're special invested. So, I don't want it to be a dead giveaway quite yet that we're, we're Dragapult. We're going to have to go for that knockoff to take him out. We do have the Cobra Berry. I'm, I'm thinking here, I'm thinking. I think I'm going to go for the Sword Stance. I'm feeling a little greedy today. I'm feeling a little greedy today. So they switch. That's going to be awesome for us here. Going back into that chain to lure. Not worried about that. And now we can just go ahead and... I think they're going to be choice scarfed. And so I think they're going to be really fast. So I think Shadow Sneak is definitely going to be our best option. I don't think we'll find the KO quite yet here. Yeah, not quite, but go for that Shadow Ball. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. We're in a very, very good position right now. Now, even if the Hisuian Zora comes back in, I'd rather just take my chances with a Speed Tie here and keep going for that Shadow Sneak. I'm hoping they're just going to use the Chandelure as a Death Fodder Pokemon. Yeah, they do switch back into the Zora here. That's totally fine. Um, I'll, I'll take that speed tie. We have the Cobra Berry again, so we're going to take a knockoff really well, even if they do find that out speed on us. Yep. I always forget that Disguise works, even after you switch out. Um, you can still tell by the health a lot of times, but I think that in a 60, 6v6 match, that could be really, really handy. Um, you can kind of catch your Pokemon off, your opponent off guard a little bit with that. Awesome. We win that speed tie anyway, so in a really, really good position here. They know what all our Pokemon are. Uh, they know what our Sableye's running, but there's still not much they can do against this. Um, Fluttermane could go Terra Normal here. Um, that could be a little bit pro problematic for us. Uh, I'm going for that Shadow Sneak because I think that's going to be really, really strong against the Fluttermane. I'm not too worried about the Chandelure. Going back into that chain to lure. They might be Terra Normal. 
They might be Terra Normal. How do I want to handle this? We'll just go for a Shadow Sneak again. Yep. They're just gonna they're just gonna let him uh, faint, so that's fine. Not really sure why they went back into Chandelure there, but we're 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 in a really solid position here too, and we still we still saved our terror. Oh no, we used it, didn't we? Against the um, Zoroark, so okay, they are they are gonna be booster energy. Um, maybe they're gonna be Terra Normal. I think Shadow Sneak still definitely is. Is our best option. Hopefully, we find the KO here. I I've only seen one other Terra Normal Fluttermane this entire tournament. Um, what's it gonna be? A lot of Terra Fairy. Terra Normal. All right, all right. I respect it. That's what we're doing too. So that's gonna make things a little bit more tricky uh, for us. We'll be able to come in with Sableye and. Just drop a Confuse Ray on it, which is going to be really nice. And then hopefully we'll be able to take this guy out with the Dragon Pole. So. Not not really anything we could have done anyway. They would have outsped us either way. So it's, that's totally fine. Going to come back in with Sableye here. Um, and hopefully that Confuse Ray will uh, do some work for us as well. So. We're gonna make it. They'll probably. They might still uh, win here, but we're gonna make it at least a little bit frustrating for them. A little bit more challenging. It is gonna set up. I was wondering. I was wondering if it's gonna be Calm Mind uh, Fluttermane. So. I th I almost debated going for a Taunt, but I still think the Confuse Ray is gonna be better here. Um, we'll go for the Taunt this turn. I don't really think they need. I, I really don't think they, they need the Call of Mind because uh, Dragon Bolt's gonna be our last Pokemon here. I think they'll think they'll have the outspeed because of the booster energy, and so that Choice Scarf is gonna be very very handy for us. There we go. We caught. We catch him on that Taunt turn. Um, I'm gonna use Protect here. Just trying to get a little bit of chip damage with that that Confuse Ray. Snapped out of Confusion. It's fine. We're gonna use Confuse Ray again here. My laptop is not happy with me right now. I need it. I need it. I need an upgrade for sure. It's it's pretty intensive to uh, record videos on this laptop. It's just my school laptop, and but we may we may do what we have. So. Come on, come on, say boy. All right, it's gonna land that shadow ball. I'm fine. I'm fine with being in that position here. They're still gonna have the confusion. If we can find one turn of confusion, um, I, they're Terra normal now too, so we can just go with the dragon darts. Um, they're also really weak physically, and so that could just allow us to knock them out this turn as well. So I'm really, really hoping that this is going to be the the winning winning move here. We have, a, we have a splash of special attack investment here just so that we had a better matchup against Skeledurge if we had to go to our Dragon and, and go with that matchup. Um, but we still have a lot of... I think we have 222 or 220 uh, base points in the attack stat, so... Is it enough? Is it enough? It is. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That was a lot of fun, so... We're at 14 minutes. I think that we're going to seek another battle video in here. I think I think that's enough time for us to sneak one more in here. So awesome, we're doing doing pretty good today. Doing pretty good today. First day was rough. I I wasn't able to record all those videos, but I after after a couple of really good wins, I went like four and one. Um, I started just having loss after loss, and just I lose all the speed ties and just have the worst hacks. But that's to be expected of this game too. So we'll do one more here.
I mean, 5,000 is still not not terrible. I would love to know how many people are, are participating in this tournament. We'll have to look that up after after the results come out. So, so we see some Pokemon. I'm really not worried about this this team. Two fast Pokemon with the Fluttermane Spectrator. Neither one of them has priority. Almost all special attackers except for that Sarah Ledge. Um, I think this might be a battle for Spectrier, in fact. Um, Sableye could be very good here. I don't think they're going to bring any entry hazards. So we can definitely catch Pokemon off guard with the Metal Burst. I'm wondering what their, like, their answer to Zoroark is going to be. So I think I'm going to lead Zoroark. Do you like the idea of Sableye here? Spectre could be very, very good too, and I haven't used it in a while. Um, and I think Spectre just has a really, really good matchup against a lot of these Pokemon. The one thing I'm, I'm, I'm waffling on is with the the priority and the Sarah Ledge, the best way to handle him. Um, Mimic you could do some things. The Terra type could make things a little bit difficult. Sableye can do some nice things too. I think that if we use Sableye, we have to bring the Fluttermane here. Just kind of handle some of those other Pokemon. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm, I'm feeling real risky today. That's going to make us very weak to Sarah Ledge and his his Shadow Sneak here. But we do have the Terra Normal on the Fluttermane. We also have that Ghost Type Reducing Berry on the Spectriere. So... I think we might be able to catch him off guard just with those those matchups. And I like that we're running a lot of speed against him here. Spectre is going to have a faster speed matchup too against the Gengar. So he's not going to like that for sure. I think that I'm just going to go for knockoff. I think that's fairly safe. Going for that Dark Pulse. So I think they, they were just banking on the fact that we were going to be the Zoroark, which is fair. But this is still going to do some big, big damage to him here. That Cobra Berry again, just putting in so much work. And not even Focus Sash, so awesome for us. I wonder if they were Scarfed. I would imagine that the Choice Scarf would be on another one of their Pokemon, like Typhlosion or Golden Go, um, or, or the Spectriere, but... It's very possible that Gengar was Scarfed as well. It's got a very, very high special attack stat, and that could do well against some of these other big threats in this tournament. So, do you see that Sarah Ledge coming in here now? Don't really think this guy does much to me. He can't hit me with the priority. We are going to be naturally faster than him. So I think I just want to go for a knockoff here. The other thing we could do is go Memento. The other thing we could do here is go Memento. I want to go for a knockoff first. He's going to go tear. I, I figured that was going to be the case. That's fine. Go Terra Fire. All right. He might go for Bitter Blade and heal up. That might actually not have been great. But you know what? At least we're going to break through. A lot of times they run Focus Sash, shoot Figgy Berry. Actually, we will want to get that knocked off. So that's very good for us as well. Got to probably heal back most of that health here. Yeah. So that's fine. Um, I know how I want to handle this here. I am going to bring in the Spectrier here. We have that berry so that hopefully they'll just go shadow sneak be able to take it and then we can terrestrialize from there i am actually going to go for a nasty plot as well they're not they're going they're going for uh maybe a shadow shadow claw no just another better blade all right ouch i did not think it would do that much damage holy smokes well, I underestimated that for sure. Shoot. I really thought they would go Shadow Sneak. I'm really surprised they didn't. And they're not locked in or anything. That really surprises me. That really surprises me. That was kind of bold. They are a little bit more specially defensive, too. There's no way we can knock it out in one hit, so I'm going to go Call Mind. Maybe they'll go Shadow Sneak this turn. I think that just might be a losing match, unfortunately. I 
I did not expect him to go better played twice. Okay, we get up that call mine. They are going for another better blade. That's gonna knock us out for sure. Oh well. Shame. Hate to lose on a loss, but what can you do? What can you do? Well, this has been so much fun. I really enjoyed playing in this tournament. I really hope that they come out with another tournament like this soon. I always enjoy it when they give us official competitions in the singles format. So uh, I really appreciate anybody that's watched all these videos or just even this one. It helps out so much. And I think that's going to wrap it up for this series. So this is Gimme Cool Gamer out. Thank you so much for watching.